when Napoleon lay in ruin for a year with his flat bottom boats and his grand army, he was told by someone, there are bitter weeds in England. There are certainly a great many more of them since the British Expeditionary Force returned. Sir, I have myself full confidence that if all do their duty, if nothing is neglected, and if the best arrangements are made, as they are being made, we shall prove ourselves once more able to defend our island home, to ride out the storm of war, and to outlive the menace of tyranny, if necessary for years, if necessary alone. At any rate, that is what we are going to try to do. That is the resolve of His Majesty's government. It sounds like Every he's boxing for 30 that years. That is the will of Parliament and the nation. The British Empire and the French Republic, linked together in their cause and in their need, will defend to 3, the death of the nation. 3,048 meters is nothing for the God Gamer. Like good Watch to this chat. To their we shall go on to the end. We shall fight in France. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. Oh my God! We Why shall defend they our island, the nation there? Whatever the cost Beach. may be. We shall fight oh. on the beaches. Oh. We shall fight on the landing <laughs> bye grounds. Bye. We shall fight in the fields. I and thought in they the were making that jet We shall fight in the hills. Reference. We shall never surrender. And if, which I do not for a moment believe, this island, or a large part of it, was subjugated and starving. Then our empire, beyond the seas, armed and guarded by the British fleet, would carry on the struggle until, in God's good time, the new world, with all its power and might, steps forth to the rescue and the liberation of the old. All right. There you have it. That's World War II guy today. Soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the Great Crusade, toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well trained, well equipped and battle hardened. He will fight savagely. Nothing less than full victory. 